Welcome here to today's video. If you're new around here, my name is Laura and I share all kinds of motherhood and homemaking videos here on my channel. You'll also see me share a bit of my art. I have a art business where I sell prints and I have exciting products coming out soon. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can check it out below. I will leave the link to my shop down in the description box. If you didn't already know, I am a first time mom to my little boy, Danny. He is almost six months. We are definitely on the other side of that newborn stage. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video sharing all the things that I found super, super helpful and even necessary during those first few months having a newborn. The baby market is huge. I know I totally felt that when I was expecting my first baby. There are so many products that are just thrown at us and it's hard to discern what is necessary and what is just a waste of money. I was really intentional. I did my research. I watched lots of videos like this. I asked lots of friends and people in my community. And so I was really intentional to make sure that the things we were purchasing for our baby were actually going to be used, that they were necessary. I didn't want items that were just gonna sit around or only be used for a short period of time and then just collect dust and just take up lots of space. I hope this video is helpful, especially if you are a new mom or expecting your first baby. And as always, I hope you find some inspiration, encouragement, and motivation here on my channel. If you do enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and let's get started. Let's start off by talking about everything that I used for my newborn when it comes to sleep products. First up, these Bibs soothers were my absolute favorite when it came to soothers and especially for sleep. We actually didn't give Danny a soother until he was about a month old and we started off with the like Philips ones and they just didn't really work for us. They kept falling out. So I transitioned him to the bib soother, which is really nice because it has the round nipple that worked well for him. They come in different sizes. These are actually a size two, what he's going to be using soon. But we used, I think it's the size one that they start off on, which is like zero to three or four months, something like that. So definitely check out the sizes. They are a little bit on the pricier side of soothers, but I found they just worked for us and we only have maybe three or four of them and I'm really glad that we found them. During those first three months, we used the Halo Sleep Stacks so much. We used these for nap time and definitely for bedtime at night. These ones are definitely my favorite because there's different ways that you can use them. We found like the swaddle wrap things, they just didn't work for us. I know other moms use them, but for us it was just, it was too hard to swaddle them and I was worried that it would just come unraveled. So these sleep sacks worked awesome. How it works is you just put the baby inside, their arms go through here, you zip it up and then you can just wrap these parts around them. And it's great because you can have their arms in at their sides, like the classic swaddle. But then if your baby likes to have their arms out, like mine did, you can wrap the swaddle part around like under their armpits. So they still have that snug feeling, but their hands are free. So these were great. I will also just mention after the swaddle, we graduated to the sleep sack. I think we introduced this it might have been around three months. This one is a small, which works for birth to six months, and Danny wore these until he was about six months. So this is another great option for when your baby's a little bit older. Again, he liked to have his arms free, and so this worked really well for us. I should also mention that I think all of these sleep swaddles and sacks that we used were a one tog and also Danny was born in July so it was summer it was warm and so definitely download like a sleep chart or something that will help you know what, how many layers and things to dress your baby in for sleeping that was really helpful for me because I didn't really know what I was doing <laughs> again because it was summertime Danny was in onesies most of the time these ones are little planet they're organic cotton I think from Carter's and so I think it came in like a pack of six, like five or six. He wore these so much to sleep in with the swaddle and also just throughout the day. So lots of onesies are great. And then also sleepers, he would wear these throughout the day and sometimes to sleep in kind of depending on the temperature. But I definitely recommend zippered sleepers that also have the foot slipper or the foot, the foot zipper at the bottom that zips up which makes diaper changes super easy especially during the night we only had a few of the ones that were the snaps they work fine but i definitely prefer the zipper ones 
Some different brands to look for would be Loved Baby. That's what this one is. These are a little bit more expensive. Also, Kite Baby would be a little bit more of like an investment sleeper. But then Old Navy, that's what this one is. Old Navy, H&M, they have more affordable options that I find like maybe the quality isn't as good, like it won't last as long, but they're super soft. The material is good. I feel good about putting my newborn baby in these. So depending on your price point, you can look at different options. Another must have item when it comes to sleep, at least in my opinion, is the Hatch Sound Machine. This one is really nice because it has a touch ring light so you can touch and the sound will come on. There's different settings that you can program it to so that as you just touch it, you can change the lighting settings and the sound settings that you have set. There's also an app that you can connect through Bluetooth so that you can control it from your phone, which we have definitely used when we want to like adjust the settings, but we don't want to go into the room when Danny is sleeping. So we used this when he was a newborn and he still uses it now. And it was also really nice for those middle of the night feeding sessions because the light that it emits is super soft. It's not like really harsh and bright. So when your eyes are adjusting, you don't want your baby to be like waking up fully or be overstimulated. It's a really nice option to just touch the light. It comes on, it's a nice soft glow and you can feed your baby, put him back down, all of that. It makes it super, super easy and simple. The only other sound machine we got was a portable one. We didn't really actually use it so much when he was a newborn, but I'm glad that we have it because now that we're traveling and going to visit family and going staying overnight places, we have brought this so many different places with us. It is small. You just have the cord that you attach and can plug it into the wall. And then once it's charged, it also runs off the battery. So you can even clip it to the car seat which we haven't really done as much. But if you find that your baby needs that sound to fall asleep in the car or things like that, it's super portable, obviously, and really, really handy. I should also mention, I will link all of these items in the description box. If anything appeals to you or you wanna check anything out, I will leave all those links down there for you guys. Of course, a diaper bag is a must have, and I really, really enjoy my Fawn Design diaper bag. This is in the beige color and it's the square design. When I was looking at diaper bags, I wanted one that would be practical and functional, but also look pretty and go with different outfits and things like that. And I've been so, so happy with this one. There is a lot of storage as well as pockets for different things like water bottles and diapers and wipes and all the things that you need. And it's a pretty roomy diaper bag. There's a lot of extra space at this point with just having one baby. But Lord willing, if we have more kids in the future, I'm thankful that there's the space to fit more things like snacks and sippy cups and what have you. In my diaper bag, I also have a portable change mat. This is something that we've used so much when we are out and about. This is the Gather brand, which is really nice. I love how thin it is because you can just easily fold it up, put it in the diaper bag, take it with you. I have used this so much in the car for changing diapers. It is wipeable, so it's easy cleanup. And I'll also put this down like in a public washroom, like the change table that comes down out of the wall. I'll put this on there just for extra protection. We also have a gather change pad that we put on the dresser. I've been really happy with this. I feel like it's a pretty good size. I was looking at a different change pad, a couple of different options, but this was the one that I found fit our dresser. So it actually wouldn't have been my first choice. I was looking at like the peanut changer, which I think maybe I would prefer more than this one because it obviously doesn't have sides. And so now that Danny's like starting to roll over and things like that, it's a little precarious. But again, it's what fit on the dresser, so I am thankful for it. And I like that it is padded and also wipeable. That's my biggest piece of advice when it comes to a change pad is to find one that is wipeable. I didn't really want the ones that have like the material covers, even though they look really cute. I didn't want extra laundry. I didn't want things that I would have to wash pretty often. It's so nice having one I can just wipe. I keep some sanitary wipes next to it, which would also be a recommendation and that makes it really, really easy. Also in my diaper bag that I love for on the go is our stroller cover. 
I like this one. It is the Milk Snob brand. I like it because you can use it as a stroller cover, which we mostly use it for. It is also a nursing cover. So I like the dual purpose. And we've used this one a lot when we are traveling. We went on our first plane ride a couple months ago. And that was really helpful to just have one thing to bring. We could use it as a stroller cover and also a nursing cover. I also have a nursing cover that I really enjoy and use more often, like at church and things like that. And I like it because it has this like wire insert so that when you have it on, it actually like pops up and you can see your baby, which is really handy. I'll try to link something similar down below, maybe look on Etsy or places like that. So those have been really helpful. And then also burp claws. I feel like I had mixed reviews on burp cloths before having Danny, but I have found that they've been helpful for us, obviously as burp cloths, but then just to have on hand in the diaper bag if he spits up. It's just an extra piece of material that doesn't take up much room, but can be used for lots of different things. These were ones that I got on Amazon. They are muslin and I think they came in a pack of like 10 or 12. I have found that we didn't use that many in the newborn stage. Maybe having like four or five would be handy so you don't have to do laundry all the time. But I didn't feel like I had to have a ton of burp cloths. Once Danny did start using a soother, I found it really helpful to have a soother clip that we could take with us on the go, clip it onto his shirt or even onto the car seat just in case we needed it when we were out and about. Of course, there are some bigger items that you will need for a baby, especially when you are traveling or driving. We love our stroller so much. It is the brand City Select. There's lots of different great options out there, but I would really recommend getting a stroller that transforms, that you can put multiple seats on, that you could have a car seat on as well as a seat. That way, if you have more kids in the future, you don't need to invest in a double stroller because you have a stroller that can be a single or a double use stroller. So that's the one that we have by City Select. I think it's the Eco one, something like that. And then we just got the little adapter clip so that we can put Danny's car seat directly on top and it has worked great for us. There were also some products that we used a lot of at home, on the go, kind of wherever we were. One is blankets. We used all sorts of different blankets. Again, Danny was born in the summer, so I found that these ones were really nice in the warm months. They are by Parade Organics. We had this one as well as this sun one, which I thought was so fun. They're really stretchy. I think maybe they're made of bamboo. I could be wrong. Nope, not bamboo. They are organic cotton, but they're really lightweight, but also provide a little bit of warmth, especially for the newborn when they are so cold. And, and then I recommend having a couple different options. So this one is Quincy May, and I love the material of this. It's a little bit heavier than these ones. So we found we did also use this if we needed him to be warmer or as it started to get cool towards the fall. And then also having knit blankets. This one is Mushy. That's another great brand. I love a lot of their products. And then I think we had a couple other options. There was one that we got, which was a bit thicker, which I really enjoyed because we would use it also as like a floor mat. So I found we used blankets for a lot of different things. So it was nice to have different options and we still even use them now. We'll put Danny in his car seat, we'll put a blanket on top of him. So having different options is great. I will also mention when I was purchasing these things, I tried to get colors and designs that would work for a boy, but also could work for a girl. That way we don't have to like rebuy a bunch of stuff if we were to ever have a girl. So that's just a little tip. I think it could just help to save some money. That being said, if we were to ever have a girl, I would definitely get a lot of pink things. So I might eat my words, we'll see. I found it helpful to have a few swaddles. We actually didn't use these as swaddles. I don't think we really swaddled Danny at all. Again, because it was the summertime and because at night we had the halo sleep swaddles that worked really well. So I did have some though. I found them helpful for just putting him on, like laying this down on the couch, which we still do. Put it on the couch, put him on top. If he spits up, it's okay. You can wash it. So we use them more for those sorts of things. Also getting up for those middle of the night feeds. I found it helpful to have a swaddle that I could just 
throw it over my shoulder. It covered a lot, which was really nice. I've even used these for a car seat cover in a pinch and also for a nursing cover also. So you can use them for different things. I do feel like I had a bit too many that we didn't really use. So definitely nice to have a couple different options. I believe this one is mushy as well. They have so many different patterns and I really, really love the soft material of this one. And then some of these are also Little Unicorn. That's another good brand. And when Danny was a newborn, I found I would just keep one of these in the diaper bag for just whatever I needed it for. A couple other things that we used at home is first the Uppy Baby wipe dispenser. This was so handy. I'm so glad we got it, especially during the newborn season when you're getting up in the night changing a diaper. I feel like we just changed so many diapers. So it is weighted and it keeps the wipes inside so that this just stays on the change mat or wherever. And you can pull the wipes out with one hand. It's amazing. I just think you just need to get it if you're having a baby. It was so helpful. Lanolin is something that I had never heard about. I heard about it maybe a month before having Danny. So I ordered some and I'm so glad I did. This stuff is amazing. You can use it for so many different things. But what we found really helpful was actually putting it on, this is a little tip for you. You can put it on your baby's bum when they are born. And then once they have that like meconium first poop, so that meconium can be super, super sticky. But if you put this on your baby's bum before that happens, it just wipes right off. It was so easy. There's other things you can use it for. It basically just protects skin from whatever harsh conditions like diaper rash, um, moisture, things like that. Okay, this one is kind of funny and I don't actually have them to show you, but something we used so much in the newborn period was actually, you're never gonna guess what it was. I had never heard of this, but it was a game changer. Puppy pads. Yes, the pads that you buy when you have a puppy and you're house training them. Yes, those. They were amazing. We used them as like a change pad so that if there was a really, really messy situation, we would put that down, change the diaper, and then after you can just throw away that pad, move on, easy cleanup, and you can thank me later. I do recommend having one little newborn hat. I, in my opinion, I don't think you would need more than one, maybe if your baby's born in the winter or something, but he just didn't wear this. Again, summer, it was hot but one little hat is all you need. This electric nail file was also really helpful. This is the Hakko one. You just take this out, you have the different nail file options that you just stick on. It vibrates, you can file your baby's nails. This was really, really handy. We did not need many products when it came to bath time, but we did have baby washcloths. These ones are also Little Planet Organic by Carter's. I think they came in like a pack of 10. These were super helpful. We still are using them now. Then I also ordered this from Amazon. It is a water temperature device. So you can just stick this in the water, turn it on, and it will like blink red if it's too hot, blue if it's too cold. It shows you the temperature right on there and just gave me peace of mind that we were putting Danny in bath water that was not too hot and not too cold maybe not a necessity, but it was helpful as a first time mom. I just felt safer giving my baby a bath when I had the actual tub. The one we have actually folds, which makes it really easy to store. So if you're looking for a tub, it's a great option. I definitely recommend something that is kind of compact or somehow folds up so that it's easy to put away and store when you're not using it. And then of course a baby bath towel. This one is from Indigo, so, so cute and we still use it now. So this is a great option. I think having one is enough. We do have two that we use, but really I think one is all that you really truly need. We used our Love Every Play Gym every day. We still use it literally every day. I love it because it's something that will grow with your child as they get older. It's great for things like tummy time and grasping at objects. There's a whole booklet that it comes with that explains to you how to use the different tools in it based on the different ages and stages that your baby is at. 
Also in the toy category are books. We read to Danny so much in those early months. It's so important for their brain development and for their speech later on to be reading to your baby. Some of our favorite books are the Baby Believer books. There are so many different ones. I think there's maybe eight to 10 books in the series. We have maybe four or five different ones that we really like. I love that they teach biblical principles or share Bible verses, but also teach some sort of learning such as animals or shapes, numbers, those sorts of things. I know that we will use these for years to come. Another series that we love that some dear friends gifted us are these ones. They are big theology for little hearts, but they have different ones on the Holy Spirit, God, the church, the gospel, Jesus, and creation. There's six in total. We read these a lot. They are simple. The illustrations are simple. And as Danny gets older, it will be a great way to introduce biblical theology and truths to him in a way that is easy to understand for little kiddos. The book that we used the most in the newborn stage was this one. It is a black and white high contrast picture books. There's no words, it's just pictures. And we found we use this probably every day for Danny during tummy time or just to look at. It's amazing to watch them just hone in and focus on these images. As you probably know, babies can only see in high contrast during those first weeks and months. So this book gave him a little bit of stimulation, helped his eyes, his eye tracking, all of that good stuff. This one was from Amazon. I will link it down below. There's lots of other options as well. So between the Love Every Play Gym and the books, that's what we found we used all the time with Danny. We didn't really need anything else other than that in that newborn period. I am of the mind that babies really don't need that much in those first few months. What they need more than anything is you and your love and care and support. But I hope this was helpful in sharing some products that we did find really helpful in that newborn season. If there are any products that you found really helpful in this season or in the first year in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments. That way any other first time moms out there can just scroll through and see all your different recommendations. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.